good day my people welcome back to this channel for the first time out if you are just doing for the first time please do it to like subscribe and turn on the post notifications it's a channel where we show you we teach you how to make shoes and you can try something out on your own or by yourself okay let's get on to business today we are making uh, a shoe with a tassel chain let me just let me, let me call it loafers uh tassel loafers but the tassel has a chain so we, we are making use of tassel chain we all know the first step where we have a pattern placed on our leather and our material and cut that already like i said if you are a first timer you can go back to our videos and you know see how it's done there see how we have that this stage okay it's at, uh back to the shoe back to uh, back to business uh this uh the shoe requires a taping like i, I always say not all shoe requires taping it's depending on the design so but the design i know the design i've been bringing on here uh as taping but when when i see so when when i come across a design that doesn't have, have, have taping i'll definitely showcase it for for us on here so we can you know see for ourselves how it is done some requires inner taping while some requires outside taping so but uh here we are we are having our inner taping so that's what we are doing here we are showing our uh we, we are we are about to tape it so after that we move to the next the next step and it's also a cap uh loafers it has cap on on its head so let's 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 follow the the video and see for ourselves after joining the uh the leather lining alongside with our leather we added gum to it as you can see this is our cap we added we we, we did the same thing to our cap we, we tape it as well after taping we added gum to it we we fold it after folding here we have it the uh the cap area in which we are going to place our cap we added little gum on it as well you, uh, everything it's been done in our previous video in if we go go back to our video like i said for for the first time uh, you definitely see it there and okay so after applying our uh, after fixing our cap alongside with the shoe uh, we did with, with the leather we, we sew after sewing we, we lining after lining again we trim out the necessary part the excess side part of the lining and after that we move on to we move on to the next step
yeah i'm very sure we are aware of what we are doing here uh we, we are trying to measure our shoe alongside with our last based on the uh, on, on the size we were given so that's what we're doing here so we are trying to measure it so as not to have an excess uh work while lasting because it won't be easy for us to last if we have uh an, an excess leather excess material so this is uh, the stage whereby we just have to, you know, place it on, place a leather on our last hand and try and, and measure it out. So after that, we, we sew, we join the back together, we sew, after sewing, we, uh, we, we fit our counter area, we added the little gum to it. It's done, it's just the normal. Uh, normal low fast procedure normal low fast step just follow the step and follow the procedure and you you, you get your results Like I said earlier, and as the design implies, it's a uh, uh, low pass with uh, plastic, but we are making it a plastic chain. It's not just a plain plastic, uh, it's a, a plastic chain as the design implies. So that's what we're doing here. We, we, uh, we have a strap ready in which we pass our, uh, our plastic chain through it and we place it on our added slide gun to both sides of the shoe and also of the uh, strap I place it on our, on our shoe so after placing it on the shoe the sole then we move on to the next step Okay, as you can see, it is done. It is well done here. Yeah, we are done with it. We are done with the sewing aspect. Now to the, uh, you, you can see the counter here that we joined earlier. Now to the next step. Okay, here yeah, we are trying to fix our tassel. Our tassel doesn't require a, a pattern, but but we have the pattern for it anyways. But it doesn't require the pattern if you know what you are doing. So here yeah, we have it cut out already. So we are fixing it alongside with the tassel chain with the provided area for it so that's what we are doing here yeah, as we as we all can see so we move on to the so after this we, we did our last thing 
we move on to the lasting area we all know how it is done how we last our shoes i'm very sure you should be able to try something out on your own or yourself or by yourself since like all this right that i've been posting something on here trying to you know uh show you how to make shoes and uh, how it's done so after lasting we applied a front stay normal way after applying front stay uh while lasting rather we applied a front stay after applying a front stay we knock we cover it and you know we then measure our sole alongside we are making use of boot sole as well uh, boot sole uh, with a cream wet and you know it, it's a gum sole anyway so after lasting we, we measure our sole alongside with our so then we, uh, we we gum up together we apply gum to it and gum up together We applied foreign state to it already, we, we, we cover it already. So after that we like I said we our sew is ready. We applied gum on our sew. After applying gum on our sew we uh here we have our results it's out, our results is out, it's, it's looking good. You can rock it on your uh, we, we can now rock it. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Please do it to like, subscribe, and share the video. Turn on the post notification as well. Share, uh, share the video, and you can always reach out to us on all our social media platforms. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.